Hey, have you ever said to yourself, the worst case scenario can and will happen? Like, this does happen, though. My boss mm -hmm. wants to talk to me in a private meeting immediately. I actually said this for years. I'm getting fired. One day I walked into my Talk 1071 and they did ask to relieve me of my duties, but now I felt fine <laughs> after it. <laughs> we can get kind of stuck in that way of thinking. I, I'm totally with you. And it doesn't even have to be about, about getting fired or whatever. I just remember, like, my dad wanting to talk to me. Or, yeah. like, you know, you get that knock at school and the principal, you have to go to the principal. You're like, or right. what I do wrong. Right. It's I not like, oh, I won an award. It's like, I'm in trouble. I know you think worst case scenario. Yes. Okay. So, all right, we're going to give you some tools to fight it. So joining us today is our favorite psychologist, Dr. Karen Ryan with Nystrom and Associates. And before, uh, well, welcome in. Thank you. Good to but see But again, you. Thank you. why do we do that? Like, why <laughs> yeah. do we always think like, why do we have worst this case defaults, scenario? Like yes. short circuit right to the worst case scenario. You know, I think it ties into those anxieties, right? Of like worse, I'm worried that this could happen. And so sometimes we have this mindset of like, if I think about it and prepare for it, like I'll be more ready for it. Mm. So that can be part of it. And it just becomes a pattern. You know, when we kind of have hard times or negative thinking. We can just kind of shift more into that. Because you start to realize the amount of times that someone's like, oh, hey, can I talk to you? Or, hey, something's going on. And you go into like that Protect fight panic. or flight yeah. panic yes. mode. Like that's, you can feel it physically, like raising your cortisol. Absolutely. And sometimes it's, you think about it, even in the car, like as you're driving, you're going to be late. Yeah. You imagine it's going to be this horrible situation. But in reality, Nobody cares. Yeah. But we catastrophize or worst case scenario. Yeah. Every time I go through customs and they're asking me, oh my God. I'm like, I'm oh sure God. I yes. committed a crime. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I get like nervous to like just like answer yes, no questions. Like, I'm with my family. Like, we're not doing anything illegal. Totally. Yes. Very stressful. But you say yes. there are three paths mm -hmm. that we can take. What do you mean by this? So what I mean by this is when we get in this pattern, it's we can feel kind of stuck, right? And we know we are going to be more prone to worst case scenario and like that catastrophic thinking when we're feeling more down, when we're more anxious. And so we can really get in that rut. And so a way to get ourselves out of that is to force ourselves to think about three different options, mm. right? So the one option is our worst case scenario. Mm. Yeah, okay. right? that's an easy one. That's yeah. when like, easy. That's mind, it's like, right? okay, we're already there. We're yeah. 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 Right, then what we have to do is, again, we're gonna have to force ourselves to do this. You're just not naturally gonna do it, but it's gonna be like, you know, Elizabeth, stop. Yeah. Think for a second, mm -hmm. right? And then it's imagine the best case scenario. What if it was the best thing? What if my boss is giving me a raise? Huge raise. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. what, <laughs> what else is going to happen? What, you know, and so imagining the best case scenario, yeah. right? How can you imagine it? If you were writing your ideal situation, what would it be? And then the third path is what's the more likely scenario? Yeah. Right? Boss probably just wants to talk to me about a change that's happening on set or a scheduling thing. Yes. Right? Or yeah. people, nobody's going to be mad at me if I'm late, but people, one coach might be like, you got to make it on time. Okay, I know. Yeah. Right? And so there's that more likely, which then really helps get us out of that emotion mind. Yeah. And into more logic. Okay, In your experience, good. do you find that this is something that we're innately like born with or is it based off experience? So for example, I felt bad. This happened a couple months ago. I asked one of my kids, I'm saying, hey, wait, uh, let's, can I talk to you privately? And he immediately said, am I in trouble? And he like got kind of sad. I go, no, 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 you're not yeah, in trouble. I just yeah. want to talk to you about something that I don't think your brothers and sisters want to hear. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why does he al already think, you know, at 11 yeah. years old that he's going to be in trouble if he gets pulled away privately? I think it has both. It's temperament. It's we know kids have temperament right yeah. when they come out, right? Anybody has kids tells yeah. you how your kids are similar or different. So yeah, he's that, a middle child. They're, they there's that temperament. Yeah, yeah. That's there, right? <laughs> and then there's also, and then it also what combines with that is in our experiences, right? So if we've had some bad experiences like a boss, or we've had a situation where a worst case scenario happened, we're more likely to kind of jump to that at times. Well, and aren't our brains sort of naturally wired to look at the negative? I mean, I look at this in terms of you guys know this. I mean, if I if I read a hundred social media comments from people being like, I like your new hair, I like your dark hair, I like your dark hair, and one person was like, you would look way better as a blonde, I would focus on that one, yes. even though it's ridiculous because yeah. 99 people yeah. said they liked it, and then frankly, I gotta step back and go, well, why do I even care yeah, what anybody thinks about my hair? You yeah. challenge that, yes. Right? Yeah, and it, you're highlighting where we wanna be, we wanna be liked, we wanna be accepted, we wanna kind of fit in, but we also, it's like this adaptive piece of, Am I likable? Am I okay? Do I fit in? Right. And so that, I think, is where you say, like, why do we naturally do that? That can be a part of it. And then sometimes we're just our own worst critics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, You know, true. we're just hard on ourselves. And then we call that, like, the mental filter where we disregard 
all the thousand positive comments and that one snarky one sticks. Yeah. Oh, so we've, yeah. Yeah. we've gone yeah. through a couple examples, but you had some, yeah. you're, you have some examples as well. Like, let's say you're going to go on a work trip. Yep. Like, what kind of example can you talk yeah. about with a work trip? The three yeah. way, the three right. paths. So, so, yep, the three paths. The worst case scenario, like, oh, it's going to be awkward. I'm going to hate all the meals. Like, I'm not going to have any fun at the end, any of the activities. Nothing's going to go well. What is even the point? I'm not yeah. going to connect with anybody. Best case scenario, oh my gosh, I schmooze, I meet people, I, may, I network, it's going to go great, I'm going to love the activities, everything's going to be great, mm -hmm. right? And then, okay, what's the most likely path? Well, I'm probably going to meet a couple people that I enjoy meeting, I'm probably going to be bored at some of the things, and I'm probably going to feel tired and run down, but it'll be okay. Yeah. So that's the more right. likely path. Okay, yeah. this is very good at managing things. Okay, let's yeah. talk about a new baby. This is another, yes. I mean, these are common things. Yeah. Boy, there's a lot of stress that comes right? along with how things right? are gonna go when you have a new baby. Right, and we know like hormones and the emotions play a different role too of keeping us stuck in these worst case scenarios. So you imagine, you know, kind of thinking worst case scenario, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna attach with the baby. Oh. The baby's never gonna sleep. I'm not gonna be a good mother. Like yeah. nobody's gonna support me. What am I gonna do? Yeah, the sleeping part is probably true though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then there's this, right? Yeah. Best case scenario, idealistic, right? Like I'm gonna love my baby. There, I have all the sleep figured out. Yeah. I'm gonna have support. I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna be able to do perinatal yoga. You know, right? Yeah. Oh, fabulous. Right? Yeah. Middle of the path, right? I'm gonna love my baby. Mm -hmm. Sleep is gonna be hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? It's gonna be a challenge, and I can figure it out. I've got people who will help me. Yeah. 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 Giving yourself in those situations, yeah, you're gonna be stressed out a little bit. Yeah. And that's okay, because that's kind of expensive. Yeah. So, yep. um, okay, great examples. Now we're coming up on the holidays. Mm -hmm. and this is something that everybody's gonna go through. Not yes. everybody's having babies right now, but everybody's right. gonna be going through the holidays. Yep. How about the, the paths there? Yep, you bet, worst case scenario, right? Everybody's gonna complain about my cooking. <laughs> Aunt Sally's gonna start a fight. <laughs> you know, nobody's gonna be engaged. Everybody's gonna be ungrateful, right? Like, oh, what is even the point, right? Yeah. Ideal situation. No, oh, everybody's going to be in the spirit. They're going to get along. My cooking's going to be great. I'm going to end the night totally fulfilled and no feeling children full of have Christmas cried. spirit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Nobody's crying. It's been great. Right? Idealistic. Right? And then more likely. Right? My cooking's going to be fine. I'm going to probably have to ask for help from people. Um, some people are going to be quiet, but most people are going to be engaged. And at the end of the night, I'm going to be tired, but it's going to be an okay, good day. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's, it's really like, and I think the key piece I want people to take away is like, you have to force yourself to identify the other paths. Because like, we get like this. Yeah, tunnel vision. For right? Sure. And so it's like, stop. What are the other options? Because it really gets us out of that all or nothing emotion mind. It's thinking. a practice, Dr. It's Ryan. Practice. Oh, we love having you here. Yeah. Thank Thanks you for having again. Me. Thank you so, much. Thank so this you. is just one kind of conversation that you can have with a therapist. Therapists are a gift, man. They really are. I'm learning so much. All right, so Nystrom and Associates provides care in the fields of psychiatry, psychology, family therapy, and much, much more. So for more information, just visit TwinCitiesLive.com. Okay,